coming up, we'll show you what it takes for soldiers in Baghdad to catch a football game. Welcome to Cav Country. I'm Army Sergeant Jesse Granger. Today we'll take you out to a midnight football game, introduce you to a soldier with a passion for fish, and show you how Santa's getting his presents to Baghdad. But first, spend a year in Iraq and odds are you're going to have a birthday over here. That goes for units as well as people. Specialist Scott Patilla was there when the 4th Squadron 14th Cavalry Regiment celebrated their birthday and found out they had more than one reason to celebrate. There were no balloons or a clown, but there was plenty of cake to go around at the 4th Squadron 14th Cavalry Regiment's second birthday in Iraq. It was more than a birthday celebration. It was also the end of their last day of combat operations. Their birthday present was a trip home to Alaska. Soldiers had mixed feelings about going home. I feel bad that we, we've been doing a good job over here and I, I, I would like to continue to help these people over here, but, you know, I've, I've done my job, and so the, the rest of the guys around here, so I feel we deserve, our, you know, deserve to go home. During the celebration, the 414th took the time to reflect on their deployment and watched videos of a time they will never forget. While looking back was important, after 16 months in Iraq, going home was at the front of everyone's mind. Actually, I'm looking for a spend uh, time with my family quality time with my family, also spend a lot of time with my friends, and also hopefully get married too. <laughs> After taking part in combat operations from western Iraq to Baghdad, going home was the best birthday present these soldiers could have received. From Baghdad, I'm Specialist Scott Petillo, 7th Mobile Public Affairs Detachment. Though you may not be able to tell by my surroundings, it's getting close to that time of year again. No, not tax season, Christmas. PFC Ashley Torres found out how holiday cheer is making it in-country. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas in mailrooms across Baghdad. There's no snow. The only white you'll see is priority. These mailroom soldiers have lots of sorting to do, and the gifts keep pouring in. Time varies. Sometimes we come in at 6 in the morning and then we don't get up until all the, move, all the mail that we got in that day is sorted. It's just bottom line. The mail is endless, which is good for soldiers who can't wait to see what's on the way for them. Better because you never know what kind of goodies you might be getting. <laughs> you might, you might get some surprises in there. <laughs> you know, just hearing from your family here, from friends, getting packages, means a lot to know that they, uh, you know, they're thinking about you. And it's those goodies that have soldiers dreaming of a white Christmas. And remember, folks, send your Christmas gifts before December 4th. But don't send lighters, weapons, or ammo. I'm Army PFC Ashley Torres with the 7th Mobile Public Affairs Detachment. And now it's time to take a look at the soldiers who make up multinational division Baghdad with our Army at War. This is our Army at War. Camp Liberty in Baghdad, Iraq. Hi, I'm PFC Andrew Williams. I'm just out here fishing in Z Lake today. I'm the driver for First Cab IG. On any given morning before work begins, you can find PFC Williams here on the shore of Z Lake. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, my dad used to take me fishing like all the time. So, just something to do to relax. Williams calls Harris County, Georgia home. Back there, it's tough for his parents to know that he's in a place of such potential dangers. My mom was, like, pretty upset about it. But my dad, he was, you know, for the war before I joined the Army. So the first thing he said was, well, I can't be against it one time because my son's going and be for it all the rest of the time because other people's sons and daughters are going. So he was all right with it. But... Ma freaked out for a good couple days. Williams understands he was trained as an infantryman, and it bothers him that he's here in relative safety while his friends are not. You know, we all knew 
when we were all in basic together, we all knew where our orders were. So we were like, yeah, well, you know, we might be in the same company or whatever. And then I got completely separated from all of them. So I didn't like that too much. They've already uh, heard been in some firefights and stuff. So I wish I was with them. You got to remember there's people out in Ramadi and all that that are getting, you know, shot at every day. And it's kind of messed up that we get all this stuff here and then, you know, they're out there having to risk their lives more than we are to do, you know, pretty much the same job. Fishing is what puts PFC Williams' mind at ease. On any given morning, you can find PFC Andrew Williams out here beside Z Lake, fishing for fish and finding peace of mind. Now let's go to the Media Operations Center and PFC Ashley Torres. Thanks, Sergeant Granger. I'm P